Okay guys, so quick tip time. Uh, I kind of made a little mistake ordering some LED lights. Uh, I'm gonna try to help some other people out uh, avoid this. Uh, I'm doing a LED upgrade in the old shop, just like I did the new shop. I uh, ordered some Hyper Icon bulbs to convert these light fixtures to LED, which were fluorescent before. Now, I just found out after I got these that there are two different types of, of tubes you can get, these LED tubes. Um, the set, or the, the lights that I got for the new shop when I did that, they're called double-ended. You see that? Now, the new ones I got, you can see they're single-ended. Okay, so what does that mean? I didn't even know what it me what it meant, so I had to call Hyper Icon. Got a nice lady there with these double-ended tubes. Uh, I showed you how I did that. Um, you basically wire the black wire to one side and the white wire to the other side, and that is what you do for a double-ended LED tube. Okay. So these single-ended LED tubes are just like it sounds. You only have power on one end. So you got to have one side. See, there's two wires coming out of this one. One's got to be white and the other one's got to be black. Same with this side. One's got to be white, one's got to be black. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, the lady informed me over the phone that most of these, they call these tombstones, these, these plastic pieces that hold the light. And she says they can't be scented. Now, what scented means is there's two wires going in, but it's not separate on the connector. And what that's going to do is that will short out your light. Um, so you can't do that if you have a scented tombstone where they're both connected. Now these lights, I just bought these lights. And she wanted me to go buy new tombstones that were single-ended. Well, I'm going to show you how I figured out that these lights can be converted to the single-ended um, in just a sec here. Okay, so I got my multimeter out here. And just like uh, when you check for a short in wiring, this is how I check to see if I could uh, convert these lights into a single-ended, uh, just to check to see if they were um, connected. So I got my multimeter here and I stuck it in there and you can hear there is no connection. They're not together. Now if I touch these if I touch them together you can see that um, these are not connected these tombstones. So they are separate so you can uh, convert this light for the single-ended LED tube. So I'll give you an example of some lights. These are some really old lights that were in the shop and I was gonna, I was gonna convert these to use them, but I, I can't do that with the single-ended tubes because if I touch these together, It's not a very good connection because I'm doing it one-handed, but you can see that this is one connection. They're, they're not separate. They're not separated each prong. 
So I cannot convert these older lights to use the single ended LED tubes. Uh, the thing is, is I do have some extra double ended ones and you can convert these old lights to the double ended because like I said before, you connect one side black and the other side white and it doesn't matter because the, the it's just one one end or the other you can flip flop that so you can convert these to the double ended LEDs so with a single ended light one side uh, does absolutely nothing all these tombstones do is just hold the light in place no power is going through them, no, nothing. Um, so I just taped these wires up and out of the way. Um, you can do whatever you want with them. All they do is hold the light. Uh, one word of caution is uh, you cannot install a double-ended LED tube into a fixture that's been converted to a single end. Uh, apparently you will damage the LED and they will not cover that under warranty obviously because it's not a defect in the, the, the light um, it's stupidity on, on whoever installed it um, installing it wrong so I understand that so just be careful if you're working with both these lights like we are uh, that you don't install a, a double ended into a, a light that's been converted for a single ended uh, it's a bit confusing, and I had to kind of think about it myself. Uh, I thought about sending them back and just getting all double-ended, but these lights will convert over. Uh, we'll just convert this shop to the single-ended ones. And, um, yeah. I had far, I've already converted a bunch of them over to the double-ended way, so i got to convert them back to the single-ended way which is a little bit of a hassle, but probably less of a hassle than sending them, them all back and getting new ones. So one final thought here on the single-ended tubes. Now I can understand why they come up with these because it, it, it's a little easier actually to wire these single-ended ones rather than the double-ended ones. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a simpler conversion. So I can see why they come up with them but I wish uh, they were labeled uh, labeled a little better in the in the ads, you know, single ended, double ended. Because up till now, I didn't even know there was two separate lights. Okay, so one more thing you have to keep in mind with these single sided bulbs is that they only go one way. So you got to get the power from the right side. If you turn them around, they won't turn on. Um, you can see with these clear ones, you can see the power side because they got wires. On this side, they got nothing. So this side with the wires has to go to the, the power side that you chose on your conversion. So after converting a bunch of these to the single-sided versus the double-sided LEDs, um, I actually prefer the single-sided ones. Uh, like I said before, it's a simpler conversion because you're only doing one side. So um, as long as you can find the lights that have the, the right tombstones, um, I, I actually prefer the single-sided LEDs. But anyway, guys, that's my uh, little quick tip. I don't know how quick this is going to be because I wanted to explain it really well. But... Um, I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys.